I go. Go, go, go. Oh, so, that's it right there too. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, bugger. I think I may have bent, maybe bent the rotor. We've got the car unpacked and we got camp set up. So we're just underneath the area here. Well, g'day and welcome to Jojo Moto and welcome to a riding camping vlog. I don't really know what to call it yet, but um, stick around because we're going to have some fun. Rightio, so we spent a lot of this morning doing uh, big maintenance on the bike, well big for a new bike anyway. We dropped the bash plate and did the oil and um, fixed up a few little bits and pieces and, and just did a major sort of service on it, I guess you'd call it, for a two-stroke. Um, but yeah, all ready to go, the beautiful Beta 200 and we got our nice Caloundra motorcycle stickers going on there because they've uh, helped us out with some tires as well so thank you very much Glander Motorcycles love your stuff in the back of the ute here we've got our gazebo and loading ramp we've got our um, hose to do all our washing and showering and all that sort of stuff because we've got fresh water on board on the ute which is cool uh, we've got our crate to step down on and uh, some fuel then in the back of the ute we've got all of our electronics gear and, and locks and chains and all sorts of things. Um, nice new fridge, ready to go with a battery set up down there, big 100 and, I don't think 130 amp hour battery or something like that. Um, we've got all of our sort of camping bits and pieces, clothes and electronics and food and everything we need. And then around this side we've got our uh, solar panel and tools and camping gear and um, tents and all sorts of stuff and then obviously our riding gear as well so we can go riding so yeah uh, pretty exciting stuff. I'll right, we'll probably get into this a little bit more later but um, the plan was to go up to Bowen and um, run the run the river um, a bunch of times but it uh, doesn't look like that's happening because there's just too much water in the river and everything but uh, we'll talk about that more later. Anyway we're just going to get out um, we've got a planned organized ride tomorrow so we're going to get closer to where that is it's up north a bit um, camp and um, then get up in the morning and probably in this video it'll be half of that ride and then um, the other half and then the camping and anyway we'll just see what happens I don't even know we're just gonna shoot off and uh, enjoy this afternoon and also we've got something pretty cool to show you on the way as well so I think it's time to hit the road okay big group I've been on a big group ride like this for a long time. How's that TM? Phew! Mad skills, bros. Mad skills. Lead. Oh, mad skills. I can't think of his name. He's a YouTuber as well. On the uh, pink and purple TM there. Some very nice beta motorcycles here. He's got bad skills. Love it. All right, we got some nice new tires thanks to Clounder Motorcycles. Some fresh uh, Michelins. I don't know whether I've run before ever. So that's a bit exciting. We got Razzle with us here, D Man, making tracks. So, yeah, big group, very exciting. The nerves are high, excitement plus. Biggest thing I'm taking away is it's not a race, but I think a lot of guys are keen to make this a race, so. Anyway. <laughs> feel feel it out a little bit. Today's goal. Breathe, Joe. Breathe. Oh, 
You didn't breathe once on that, Joe. <laughs> and you know what, Mr. Kev? You're right, I don't think I breathed once. <laughs> How good is this? How good is this? This guy's sitting here making us go over the big bit. <laughs> Too much lean there. Now making tracks is back from an injury and it's been riding for a few months now so it's so cool to see him back. Probably be back into racing very soon too so go check out his YouTube channel. It's a cracker. It's a good one. That was friggin' neutral. Damn it. I gotta go back and try that again. Go, boy! Go, go, go! Oh, so, that's it right there, too. Right there. Woo! All good? Yeah, easy. Easy. <laughs> level riders here. Some really good riders. So today, let's just breathe. It's not a race, do my own pace. That one there. 
one there just rode over it, you know. Oh, oh, oh. Shivers. Over that way, huh? Rightio. Yeah, you don't want to go through that. Down. Woo! Straight down. Whoa! Oh my gosh, there are so many logs. <laughs> One of these guys is so good at logs, you watch all their videos. Watch your head. Yeehaw. Oh, <laughs> man, that just, that little twig just kicks you off so fast. Crisscrossing this river, a little creek bed. That's so cool. Hope you guys are enjoying this because this is crazy good. Going down? Alrighty. Yo. Oh. Bugger. Man down. Yeah. Woo. What not to do, hey? Oh. Uh oh, uh oh, that didn't feel good with the front brakes. Something's a little bit tweaked there. Yeah, all good. No, I've got no front brakes though. I mean, I've got some, but there's it definitely got tweaked. I got enough, I got enough there, yeah. Bugger, that's not what I want. I think I may have bent, maybe bent the rotor or something. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Bent the caliper or, it's like it um has nothing and then has everything. front brake squeaking so I think it's bent the rotor and it's um I'm not feeling brakes and then all of a sudden it just locks up because it's bent oh this this is where I just start playing mind games you know what do I what do I do like if this was a race would I be pulling out or would I just be cruising along and doing what I can do and doing it safely without the front brakes you know I don't know Go ahead, come on. That was cool. Oh, jeez. Um, wonder if I can get up there for you. Do you need some help? Are you alright? Yeah, just fell down the hill. Okay. 
nice one. Probably because of the back of bar spacing there. How amazing is this place though, man. Just... <laughs> Front brakes or no front brakes? I'm on my dirt bike and I'm in this crazy place. Exceptional, man. What? <sighs> Whoa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Up there, is it? Up the creek bed? A little step up. Yep. motorcycles for these tires tell you that much ain't going over yeah I hit the hit the front brakes on that little rock thing and um, something's gone wrong but that's right, they only slow you down anyway, don't they? Oh, sorry, I've got the brakes on. <laughs> yeah, just got a little. Yeah, you got a tight spot there. Oopsie daisy. Anyone got a big hammer? Pretty much there. <laughs> Is it in? Yes. Need to come out. See where it's had the bar flip off the little sensor there? Oh, yeah. That's where it needs to come out. Yeah. Um, <sighs> busted out the tools and. Gave the front uh, brake rotor a bit of a straighten. You can see where it had a little knock, so hopefully it's a little bit better. Okay, front brakes feel a lot better. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's been a cracking group ride, I tell you what. So much fun through that creek bed and single track and whatever. So yeah, camping and everything last night, really fun stuff. Thanks for watching. Do the subscribe, the notifications, all the other social media thingies. We'll see you guys on the next ride. Woo. Oh, that front brake's still not amazing. Rightio, so here we are at the Federal Short Course. Um, Team Black Betty 23 is not racing this weekend. Um, this is the event that was going to happen at Dolby, but now they've moved it here to the Federal Short Course because uh, of rain out that way. So, um, yeah, it's just sort of near home and we get to check it out for a little bit.
I don't know if you could see, but in the 10 minutes or so that I was there, the car is covered in dust. <laughs> so I hope there is a little bit of rain or something, but anyway, it's all good. Radio. so as I said, uh, the Dolby event got cancelled. Uh, Mr. Craig wasn't, Black Betty Racing wasn't racing uh, in that anyway, but um, yeah, if you haven't checked them out on social media, go check them out. Um, Black Betty 23 racing team. Um, I've been helping out for a couple of years now and it's just an awesome team to work with and pro driver, pro buggy, it's just so much fun. But um, anyway, yeah, they're doing the national series this year, which is super exciting. And I'll be involved in a few of those races as well. But um, yes, yeah, so I was just here local and, and I got to come and check it out, which was really cool. Unfortunately for that Aussie 7 racing, that was a that was a shame hitting that fence post. Last time we were here uh, doing a practice little event thing, um, it was quite funny. Rob Chapman, the owner of the uh, property there, says, "Oh yeah, no, I, I bury my however much you can see of those fence posts at the fence posts at the top. That's what's buried underneath as well, at least six foot down. So <laughs> he built some solids so that poor um, poor trophy truck didn't stand a chance against that fence post." Anyway, um, this is just like I said, it's a bit of a vlog and whatever, so we'll just keep driving now and uh, yeah, we're heading north and see where it takes us. Well, this wasn't in the brochure. Didn't know we were doing dirt roads. It's an afternoon anyway. It's all good. We're cruising. Rightio, still cruising along this road and uh, we've turned up here at this memorial bridge. I think it's some sort of like war memorial sort of thing or something. I don't really know too much about it, but I know it's got something to do with uh, war memorial stuff. So yeah, super cool. Obviously the uh, troops came through this way and whatever. But uh, yeah, nice afternoon, quite overcast and whatever, a few spots of rain, but hey, we're not... Uh, riding on the road bike or anything, so we're all good, we're in the car. <laughs> anyway, we'll uh, keep driving, we're nearly at the camp spot now and uh, we'll check it out when we get there. Rightio, yeah, the T-Bar, they call it the sports grounds or something. Um, it's a pretty cool little spot if you ask me and nice big grassy area to camp on and I've chosen right here, <laughs> right underneath the hall. Um, I don't see why not to camp here tonight. Um, there's that undercover area under there because there's a few little showers and bits and pieces happening and you can park the car right here and I might even set up the tent underneath there so that in the morning there's no dew to worry about. I can just pack up the tent and be gone. And um, yeah, there's some toilets down there and even got showers and whatever if I need it. But yeah, I think this is us. So yeah, we might start setting up, I think. Just going for a little walk around the property and uh, we found ourselves a time capsule. So this was uh, done on, in 1999 and it'll be opened in uh, 2049. Whew. wonder what's in there. How cool. Right here, as it gets later in the afternoon here, uh, into the evening, we've got the car unpacked and we've got camp set up. So we're just underneath the area here under cover so nice quick uh pack up in the morning but i've got all the beds set up and all done and we've got a little sort of kitchen area down here and chill out area got a nice little spice of drink going on and uh, a little light and everything so man we are dialed we are set up so um yeah feels like a nice little safe area too i feel like i can put the earplugs in and sleep well tonight so yeah, super happy with where we are. Right, yeah, uh, we'll update with dinner time soon. So, um, yeah, looking forward to dinner. I'll show you what I got going soon. Right, yeah. Campfire is sorted. What do you guys reckon? Kick out a bit of heat. Yeah, I reckon too. Should be good. Right, yeah. Uh, I got lazy. It's getting late, and I've just been sitting here chilling out and having a few spicy drinks, but uh. Yeah, I got lazy, so I'm just going to have a few cocktail franks with some barbecue sauce and a couple of twiggy sticks and French onion 
I think I might hit the hay. It's getting pretty late. Watch a few TV shows and then uh, get to bed. Well, good morning. It's uh, well before six o'clock and um, had an awesome sleep. I, I think I went to bed at like 8.30 or something like that. I thought it was late, but it wasn't. And uh, yeah, I just got the got the coffee on the boil over here. Whoop. And um, just packing up camp real quick, making some breakfast, and uh, we're going to be hitting this ride. I slept really well, which is great. So yeah, I'm feeling good, ready to ride. Well, it was a really good call to set up everything underneath here because, uh, yeah, outside is wet. It um, just showered a little bit all night sort of thing here and there. So, um, yeah, it was a really good call to be able to set up under here because now I can just pack up everything really quick. Oh, chuck it straight in the car without it being all wet. Oh, yeah. Rightio, let's keep packing up. Rightio, big riders breakfast. We've got our coffee and we've got big four eggs couple of condiments to go with it. Yummo. All packed up, tents done. Um, it has just started spitting rain, so <laughs> could be a bit of a wet and wild ride today. But anyway, I'm looking forward to it. On our way to the riding spot. Oh, a fair bit of standing water, so it could be a bit of a wet and slippery one. <laughs> 